Vieni con noi a conoscere la nostra Calabria. Let's go with me to know my Calabria. Hi everyone, I'm Anna Patricia from the blog Your Travel to Italy and Your Travel to Calabria. Today we are in Mangoni for another video of the series Walking Around Calabria with Anna Patricia. Mangoni is a descriptive but full of a charm city. Without any pretense, Mangoni will win your heart and soul. Let's go to our visit. Before we start, I want to give you a tip. Remember to wear comfortable shoes. The city being in the middle of the mountain is full of ups and downs. So it is essential to use shoes that allow you to walk without any problem, ok? How you can see, Mangoni is a charming, calm city and is ideal for those looking for peace pure air and something that escapes from the classical tour but gains in experience. The city of Mangoni is located on the slopes of the Silla Plateau and it has just over a thousand seven hundred inhabitants. And it is very easy to get here. From Cosenza, it's just 50 minutes by car. Or you can take the train in the center of Cosenza and it will take about 30 minutes. But believe me, the tour by train is so beautiful. You can see the tour on another video in my channel. As I said before, Mangoni is not part of the traditional itinerary of those visiting Calabria. And for this reason, you will have no difficulties to move here. However, like so many other small towns, it deserves attention due to its appearance of a ghost town. Although it seems almost uninhabited, the city is attracted by its characteristics up and downs, well-designed ground and inhabitants who know how to receive the tourists. Is it worth the visit? Definitely yes! Especially if you like to know unique, special and authentic places. What you see at this moment is the historic center of Mangoni. And it has the typical characteristics of the villages in this area. With buildings full of decorations made of local stone. Among those worth mentioning there is the Mauro Palace, which was owned by the powerful local family. However, the great attraction of Mangoni is the cathedral of the city, which dominates the village. It is important to say that I'm doing this video in the winter, but if you come here in the spring or in the summer, it's much nicer because you will find the elderly population outside, sitting in front of the houses, just talking about nothing and everything and lots of flowers on the balconies and the gardens. We have many theories about the name of the city. The first one is that Mangoni adopted its name from Mangones, which in Latin means slave traders, because in the second century before Christ, the Roman Empire had here a place to put the slaves that worked cutting the trees in Silla which were used to build boats and houses. The second hypothesis 
is that the city took its name from the noble and important owner of the land, a generation of Maori who settled in Calabria at the time of the gods. Now we are in front of the cathedral that is dedicated to, to San Giovanni Evangelista, and the church was built in the 17th century. It has an interesting tufted portal on the facade, and inside the present rich 18th century carving decoration. I want to show you the panoramic view of the historic center just where we've been before and you can see from here that there are many more villages which I wanted to show you soon. At the end of our quick stroll, you can see how Mangoni is a charming, discreet city that will offer us infinite peace. As I said, it does not require much time to get to know it, so you can make the most of the city without haste and with all the tranquility of the world. Since the city is not clouded like other cities in the region. So, if you want to know more about Mangoni, just send me a message and come to Calabria with me. In Calabria, you are not a tourist but you are a local. Hugs from my Calabria to you.